Sabio, before you deliver your story, I think we ought to take a look at this video you showed me. So what'd this guy do? Jumped the subway turnstile, didn't pay his fare, and he was beat on the head by a nightstick by a cop. Is that the penalty for not paying your fare on the MTA subway now, nowadays? I spoke to the man who actually shot this video, Raul Carrero. I met him at the subway station in Brooklyn, yeah. intersection of Myrtle Avenue and Broadway, and I told him, tell me what happened before you hit record on your phone. The cop called him and he kind of uh, like placed his hands and moved them to the corner and told him to sit down. The police officer pursued Lawson and then pushed him against the wall right by this bench right here. He didn't want to be arrested, so um, he pulled out his mace and maced him in his face. At that point, he said, something's going down. I'm going to pull out my phone. I'm going to start recording this. I saw that it was starting to heat up. The officer was, and them, they were, once he was maced, everything got out of whack. Then he sees a police officer hit Donovan in the legs. Donovan tries to, jumps up on the bench trying to get away from the, the, the pain. Kind of like jump on the bench not to get hit, but the officer cracked him in his head. I, and that's when I said, oh my God, uh, that was not necessary. I also spoke to the employee at the Dunkin' Donuts who dealt with the police officers. I guess he was in a brawl with the guy because his hand were messed up and he, um, they asked us for water and like napkins and stuff. And you can still see tons of blood drops all around here that have not been cleaned up. I spoke to Raul about it and he said that it actually hurt to see this because the police officer who did this to Donovan was black and obviously Donovan is black too. You could tell he's a young kid. He made a mistake. Talk to him. I spoke to the NYPD and I said, does this guy have a clean record? They said that Donovan has six arrests, including this one, five priors, four of them are sealed, meaning they were dismissed. One of them, he pled guilty to second degree robbery in which he used a gun. The question is, does the punishment fit the crime? I spoke to Amy Rameau. She's an attorney who, de who represents clients in police brutality cases. This officer went overboard. This was absolutely unnecessary. He had the kid by the wrist. We all saw that, right? If I was, had the same emotional reaction you all did watching this, very hard to watch. You don't like to see one person hurting another at the same time. What would you have the cops do if someone resists arrests and uh, steals? Would you ask them politely, excuse me, sir, please pay the fare? They have their own rules and their own policy, and in their own policies, you can't hit somebody in the head. This is someone who was sitting there and got hit in the head by a nightstick. But he wasn't just sitting there innocently. He had stolen, I mean, you know, guys that jump the fare, that impacts all of us but who ride MTA. There's different levels of crime. Yeah. Does not paying the fare merit being cracked in the head and your skull being open for that? Resisting I mean, why arrest not, might. Why not just oh, give a ticket? Yeah. The fine for that is like $30. Yeah. It's not worth a club in the head. That is a ticket, not an arrest. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Zabil said something, let the punishment fit the crime. The punishment comes later. This is the arrest. The arrest is not supposed to be the punishment. Punishment comes later through due process, but put yourself in the cop's shoes. You've got a dangerous city. You've got people that are stealing and making a mockery of law and order. The lesson is don't resist arrest. Nobody here is arguing that what he did was right. We're discussing the police policy. All the police officer was trying to arrest him for was jumping a fare. So do you think after watching this video, anyone that he knows or anybody in general is gonna wanna hop a yes. turnstile? That's now? not yes. how our lives. Yes. Yes.